Okay, Ginger and I are in uh, the high country around 10,000 foot elevation here along the Arizona New Mexico borderline. And uh, this is one of the squatchier areas, so I'm going to film it so we can see some tree lanes beginning along the trail right here. See them back up in here. Welcome to episode two of Gila Bigfoot. Ginger and I went hiking up this trail that cut through a path of tree lanes. We followed them until the path and the trail diverged. Then we followed the tree lanes. What follows is our experience. I want to apologize for all the whispering I did, but as soon as we left the trail, it seemed we weren't alone on the mountain anymore. giant hanging tree break right here. <sighs> They've broken a lot of these trees overhanging the trail. I think they're trying to say something to us. So here's another tree lean over the trail. I see about eight times today. Leans and breaks that go over the, either the trail or the road. And it's the end of the season up here. I think they're trying to say something, give a message to humans to say, stop coming up here. It's winter time, our season. This is the point where we leave the trail. The path of tree leads leads us up to a hilltop. Massive amounts of dead wood through the here. Lots of tree leaves and tree structures, so all 
explore some more. There's no trail, human trail over here. This is all off, off trail or maybe a mile from the road. Nearest road that I know of anyway. She's stuck here because she's caught on a limb because I let her leash. Come on, I'll take it off. Don't you run away, okay? You stay with me. Squatch on her. Come on. She's going back. This way. Come on. Follow daddy. Come on.
it's a lie-up. We'll go in there in a minute. There's just a nice flat area. The top of the mountain. Ginger. Eating grass. fucking way that was done by nature. The wind or a snowfall. I haven't found any really good ones that are like that, but just look at the number of them. All this film has been taken in the past, you know, hour. And so I've seen literally dozens and dozens and dozens of uh, tree falls, tree breaks, and uh, there was one little igloo, uh, Hogan type structure, but it was right near the trail, so I, I doubted that it was uh, that it was not part of, it was not man-made. So. But here we have all the bowed branches, you know, typical stuff. So I'm hoping there's a wallow or some kind of. Uh, big tree structure or something really complex up here. But I've seen plenty of teepees and Yeah. <laughs> 